Hello everyone. I'm sitting here with Dr. Carol Davis. I'm going to let her introduce herself and we're going to talk about fascia today. Okay. <laughs> Christine struggles with a Professor Emerita label. But what it means is that I'm retired from the University of Miami Department of Physical Therapy. But because of um, my stature, they, uh, they would like to claim me still um, <laughs> as a part of them. And I want to be claimed by them. That's my, one of my family. So I have the, the uh, title of Professor Emerita. Emerita is for women. Emeritus is for men. So you might have heard of Professor Emeritus or Emerita. Um, and I'm a, a John Barnes myofascial release physical therapist, a clinician. I work with my hands. And, and my heart and my soul, myself, mm. treating patients. I'm retired from the university, uh, but I still teach. And Christine's here this weekend with me to help me teach the doctor of physical therapy students about Barnes Myofascial Release and fascia. Okay. And so she has some questions that she'd like me to answer. Yes, yes, yes. So I run a, a yoga teacher training program and we apply the principles of myofascial release to yoga. So here's the first question. I'd want to ask you, Carol, is how does myofascial release work? What's the science of it? Well, um, since, since time immemorial, we've known, uh, it's been accepted, that the laying on of hands mm -hmm. is significant, especially when behind the laying on of hands is a feeling of compassion, of wanting to help and mm -hmm. of uh, an energetic um, sense of, of, of love and compassion. And all of us grow up with, uh, hopefully most of us grow up, with someone who touches us in a way, um, physically, that makes a difference in how we feel. We feel better when we're touched in that way. Mm -hmm. John Barnes um, uh, was injured as a young man as an athlete and understood as a physical therapist that if he would use manual therapy techniques he should feel better. He recognized that his muscles were going into spasm. He recognized that the pain was soft tissue oriented, not just um, bone and facet. He injured his lumbosacral uh, complex. Mm -hmm. And he had surgery and it still hurt and he knew it was soft tissue. So he tried the manual therapy techniques um, that were uh, well known, um, mobilization, manual ma manipulation, rolfing, a massage, none of them stayed. And they found that if he pressed on his leg and held it with some shear and held it there, he could feel his hands heating up and then he felt the muscle start to relax in a different way than it did when he was doing the, the heavy things that he had learned in school with his elbow and his knuckles and so forth. And he began to realize that there was something to this pressing and shearing that changed the physiology mm -hmm. of the soft tissue. And so he realized it was probably fascia that he was dealing with, not just muscle. And he investigated and sure enough what he found out was fascia goes in one continuous web from the top of our heads to the bottom of our feet. It's, we are embedded in it. It is, it is the packing material. And we knew this all along. We knew that this was the packing material. This is what makes us bounce when we land rather than just fracture. But we didn't understand that all of our cells, every one of our 50 to 75 trillion cells, are embedded in this tissue. Mm -hmm. It's not like just it surrounds, it surrounds the, the muscles like saran wrap. Um, it, our tissues are embedded in it and to get that picture of, of the muscles fibers themselves being embedded in fascia he began to realize that the muscle could not work if the fascia was congealed mm -hmm. and so he felt that what he was doing somehow was uncongealing this ground substance of the fascia mm -hmm. all fascia whether it's the fascia of the brain whether it's the fascia of the muscles, whether it's the fascia that the heart is embedded in, it surrounds the heart or the, or the lungs or the intestines or the liver or the bladder or the pancreas or the, or the bones or the nerves. All fascia is made up of three elements and then other cells. 
And the basic elements that make fascia fascia are collagen, which is very plastic. It's not very stretchy at all. And it adds structure. And uh, we have 12 different kinds of collagen in our bodies. And it's, um, our noses are large, and our ears are mainly collagen. Elastin, which elongates. Some people say it stretches, but John Sharkey would say, no, it doesn't stretch because there's only a limited amount of space. It's been shrunken, so it just elongates back to its original length. That will elongate. The collagen doesn't elongate. It kind of, when, it, when the fascia is congealed or dehydrated or restricted, it folds over on itself so that when you press and shear, it kind of unkinks itself. The elastin will elongate. And then there's this ground substance, this, this, this medium that looks like egg white in the endoscopic view that, of Guy Barteau, where he took a, a camera and actually placed it under the skin of a living person so we could see what was this, what does the web look like? And it's polygons of tubules, uh, of, of um, opaque tubules, but you can see the fluid inside. And in the midst of these polygons, all different kinds of shapes, there's this egg white substance, this ground substance, this poly mucopolysaccharide ground substance. Sometimes it's very, very clear. Sometimes it's very, very difficult to tell. In the ligamentum nuchi down the spine and the dura around the brain, not a lot of water, not a lot of ground substance, a lot of collagen. Um, but all fascia has these three elements. Now the myofascia has myofibrils. And the brain has the glia and astrocytes. And the, um, the tendons have Golgi tendon organs. And all of the nerve endings in our body are embedded in fascia. Every nerve has an a, a, a alternating current in the nerve, but a direct current in the fascia on the outside, the perineurium. So here's this alternating current going at its speed of 20 meters per second. And here's this speed of this, of this perineurium that's, that's quantum.